Questions remain after last Friday's school bus crash that resulted in the death of five-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya. Investigators say a concrete truck crashed into the bus, which was carrying 44 pre-kindergarten students returning from a field trip. The investigation is still going on, so there's no final word on liability at this point, but that hasn't stopped parents from asking questions. Me personally, I just, I don't like the idea of the, the no seat belts. We spoke with Dr. Eric Wright, the superintendent of Hayes CISD, and asked him about the bus, which we know didn't have any seat belts. What decision making goes behind who gets what bus? So the bus that was used was actually a regular route bus. It wasn't a spare bus. And the driver is the, the regular driver for uh, Tom Green Elementary and, and the pre-K uh, classes. On the surface, Texas is actually ahead of most of the country when it comes to seat belts on school buses. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, it's one of eight states requiring school buses to have safety belts. But Texas carves out a couple of exceptions. The law notably does not apply to buses purchased that are 2017 models or older, or if the Board of Trustees votes and determines that the district's budget can't afford buses with seat belts. In its statement over the weekend, Hayes CISD says the bus involved in Friday's accident was a 2011 model, and a spokesperson tells us it was purchased in 2011, six years before that law took effect. You could try to make an argument uh, that the school district should be held responsible for putting these kids on the bus without seat belts. For everybody to try to put blame on this one issue, um, when they should be putting it on the, the driver of the concrete truck, uh, kind of is baffling to me. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.